the steamboat industry was probably the biggest factor in the development of this area. As soon as the ice went out in the spring, the Katahdin would go to work and start hauling the booms of logs across the lake. You know, that was a pretty exciting thing when you're out there with a boat and the Katahdin came chugging down by you. Pretty impressive, you know. Young people didn't see. That was the only boat that big left on the lake when I was 10 years old. My mother was Irma Sawyer Harvey, and her father was Stillman White Sawyer, and his father was Henry P. Sawyer. Henry P. was uh, a boat builder and a captain of the boats and was on the lake, up and down the lake, Sabumic, Northeast Cary, Lily Bay, doing mail runs, transporting people. People would come to Greenville on the train, or by stagecoach. Later on, people would come to Rockwood and boats from various camps, ours included, would meet them and uh, bring them to where they were gonna stay. And right here where we're sitting right now, a hundred years ago in this cargo hatch, there would probably have been four or five horses, a couple cows, three or four crates of chickens, a bunch of hay stacked up, somebody's old Model T car. There was no roads to Rockwood no roads to the head of the lake. So things like that went up the lake on the steamers. If you look at some of the old photos that we have, there's one photo of them taking a Model A out the hatch, and they'd put a, on a couple timbers. I'm not exactly sure that the insurance companies would really jump for joy over that these days, but just the same, that's how things moved and that's how things were done. For the fancy resorts, pianos, and fancy, um, cooking wear and, and linens, animals, horses, even trains. You know, they even moved trains by barge up to the upper end of the lake. And uh, that was true in other places as well. Knowing how the loggers used these boats, it's amazing that they got the life out of them that they did. And, stories about just driving a Katahdin up to, you know, the, the shore and people grabbing all hands on deck because they'd be working on an island or the shore and to tie the boat up for the day. I asked a crew of old guys one time down to Indian Pond when I first got down there, I was 18 years old, and I said to those men, I said, do you think that they could ever move all this wood to a mill on trucks? And those guys looked at me like I had two heads and said, ah, oh, these young fellas, I can't believe you'd even ask a question like that. There's no possible way in the world it could haul all this wood down to a mill on a truck. And nine years later, we were standing in Spencer Bay watching the cake go out the bay, and it was over. It was very melancholy, you know, to know it was over after you'd done it so much, but, you know, it, it had to go, so that was it. We all just walked away. Walter Gary said, it's over, boys. It's time to go home. <laughs> so we went. It, it happened quick when it happened. It was, uh, it was fun, but it was over. You know, we had to deal with it and pack your stuff up and go do something else. Twilight 2 is the boat that Stillman Sawyer built. You know, if you take yourself back to the mid-40s, what was the function of the big boats anymore? wasn't much. The twilight sank at its mooring in 1943. Why was the twilight left over there? Because it wasn't being used. The company is no longer running boats on the lake. Why was the twilight just sitting there all for two years and not being used? I only remember about four steamboats on the lake. And some of them were on bottom. I knew where they were. I used to visit, as a kid, I used to love to go down and swim around the twilight. The first time I saw it, I went there in a canoe or my own boat on a beautiful sunny day. And when you looked down, it was so like the Katahdin. I mean, it almost made my stomach turn. It was as eerie a sight as I'd ever seen. Six generations stuck around. And even if they didn't stick around, if they had to go somewhere else to live and work, 
they all call Greenville home. <laughs>